G'day YouTube, KJ here. So I finally done it, 1,286 cells in total. Uh, and these are for some projects we're gonna be um, putting together on the channel in the near future. Uh, the first row is 385 cells. Each of those is 150 amp hours. So we'll end up getting around about almost 4,000 watt hours out of a portable power supply I'm going to be building with that. The next two are 105 amp hour because 24 volt batteries and those will be the same as the two previous batteries that I've built and both of those are going into an RV which I'm restoring and uh, you'll start to see some of that in the near future um, but those will be the second and uh, I mean the third and fourth battery that I'll need so I'll have 10,000 watt hours in the RV We'll also be putting together a small uh, solar system in that RV, which has a grow watt, 3000 watt, 48 volt inverter in it, all in one inverter. The next ones are for another small power supply that I have. That's another 280 cells. Each one of those is 80 amp hours. And um, that's just for a portable power supply so I can keep in the car, in the RV or something else. The very last one all by itself here, is I was, I had a whole pile of random cells which I got out of like medical batteries and tool batteries. And after testing them, I didn't really have a lot that I, we had left over, but all of those are random cells, different brands, different resistance. And I thought, you know, not everyone has the opportunity to get uncycled cells. So I thought I'd put it together in a pack and run it through my battery capacity tester, which also does grass on the charge and discharge cycles. And I thought we'd run it through to, and compare it with one of our good ones made with our LG cells. So that's what we have coming up in the future. And once again, YouTube, if you like my channel and you wanna see what's coming up, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit that bell uh, notification. And thanks again.